Hi my loves, it has been a hot minute since we did a vlog, so let's do one now. We're gonna be talking. I went on to Amazon, my favorite place to be in the whole entire world. If you are not yet following my storefront, here it is, please go and do so. And I ordered this bed. This was on me. I own it, I take responsibility for it. I did this. It's me, hi. I'm the problem, it's me. And this bed anyway, it was a steal. I will leave the link in the description box. It was an absolute bargain. I really wanted a like four poster bed in black, um, a metal one, just because they're easier to clean and maintain. And also guess what? Bed bugs tend to not linger around metal, so that's good. Not that I've ever had bed bugs. Don't start rumours, please and thank you. It's just with the whole bed bug gate situation, I just want to opt for an easy life. And also, when you clean as much as I do, I feel like a fabric bed is a lot more high maintenance when it comes to cleaning it than a metal or wooden bed. But pick your poison. For some people, it doesn't matter. For me, it was a whole thing. Anyway, ordered the bed, it arrives. And I'm like, this, where we're at now, doesn't quite do this bed justice. I'll show you it in a second. Robbie the Ranger starts assembling it because he is our caped hero. We love to see it. And he assembles the bed. And I'm like, babe, this is looking kind of big. The bed is a US king what does that mean it's just a king size bed isn't it no it's not the us sizes are completely different my bad should have looked into it didn't and anyway we had this bed with a mattress that basically upon putting it on this bed it looked like a single mattress it was a wild ride in some of my shorts, if any of you have been watching my shorts, you'll see in the background, because we were waiting on this mattress here to arrive, um, you'll see in the shorts, there's like a great big gap where the mattress is, and it just looked horrendous. Anyway, finally got the mattress, and I can now show you the bed. Upon showing you the bed, I figured we all love a uh, sliver of cleaning fun here so i'm gonna go through my top tips um when it comes to cleaning your bed and your mattress here is the mattress we found that would finally fit our bed it's the sulong cloud 12 inch hybrid mattress for a super king this was actually really budget friendly and it comes with a blend of memory foam and inner spring coils which help provide a lovely sleep experience it also has advanced motion isolation technology and temperature regulation to help with night sweats and it boosts hypoallergenic properties creating a clean and healthy sleeping environment i have put the link in the description box below so check out the sulong I have been really impressed with it so far. My first tip when it comes to mattress cleaning is you wanna make sure that you are vacuuming your mattress. This is gonna pull out any of the like dead skin cells, any crumbs, any dust that might be lingering on the mattress. Anything like that is gonna be sucked up into your vacuum, which is gonna do wonders for your mattress. You don't really wanna leave it um, not being vacuumed. It's just gonna be so much better for you. And also if you have skin allergies or allergies in general, and you're finding that you're feeling a bit sneezy, your eyes are a bit weepy, then get your hoover out and hoover your mattress now we have done the vacuuming of the mattress let's move on to what happens if you find a stain on your mattress so generally speaking what you want to do is get a mattress protector that is going to be the first point of call for you to keep your mattress protected the clothes in the name <laughs> so get a mattress protector and that is going to save you a lot of time and energy. If you do find that you have a stain on your mattress, 
this is what you are going to do. And it isn't going to be grabbing a bucket of boiling, scalding hot water and some washing up liquid and scrubbing away at it and hoping for the best. And here's why. Generally speaking, the stains you will find on your mattress are going to be protein stains. We've been here before. This is a well-versed topic from yours truly. Protein stains do not do great with heat because what you can end up doing is setting in the protein stain. We don't want to do that naturally. On our mattress, if we're setting a stain in, it's going to make it so much harder if not impossible sometimes to then remove. So in your state of panic, don't grab any type of heat. This will include steamers, irons, and all the above. What you're gonna do is get a biological detergent. Biological detergents contain enzymes that are specifically designed and very, very good at fighting protein stains. These will be the stains that we more often than not, we'll find on our mattresses. So the biological detergent, get that, you're gonna mix it up with some cool water. We're always working with cool water here. Mix it up into a solution in just a little dish and then we are going to just spot clean the area. You don't need to go wild, don't stop throwing it over your whole mattress because that is another thing we don't want on our mattresses. We never want a soggy mattress. Say it with me team, we never want a soggy mattress. We don't want it. It's going to end up, first of all, if you don't air it out properly, stinking. And second of all, what can end up happening is that turns into mould and mildew and then you need a whole new mattress. Get rid of it. You're going to have to throw it away. It's a waste of money and just we don't want to do it. Start from the outside and just gently work your way to the center of the stain and keep doing this process. Once you are happy that the stain has shifted, and it will if you use a biological detergent and cool water, you can then go in with a second cloth and just some water to kind of rinse it off with. It's just going to be a damp, clean cloth. Wipe over the area that you have already spot cleaned with your biological detergent. Let it dry by opening your windows good to go. My third tip when it comes to beds, mattresses and bedding, we're moving on to the bedding section now, is you want to make sure that you are not only laundering your bed sheets but you are also laundering your duvet. If you haven't done this yet, add it to your spring cleaning checklist and make sure that you put it through a wash cycle. It's just good practice to do once in a while. Don't neglect the duvet. Now we've discussed cleaning our mattresses and our beds, let's open this. This is so genius, I cannot wait to show you guys this. It's the Night Lark coverless duvet. So it's from the Fine Bedding Company. This is a pair of pillowcases, sublime and divine. They feel so nice. This is the coverless duvet. So this is the pattern that I went for. How cute. And look, it comes in like a bag. And this is basically exactly what it says on the label. It's a coverless duvet. So rather than having to do the sheets, and pull them off and then wash the duvet and then wash the sheets. This whole thing goes in to the washing machine. I will be putting this through the wash before we use it. You should do that when you get new stuff. Wash it first, but look at this. Oh my God, it's so nice. Okay. With spring summer coming along, um, you can get different um, togs. And this is the lighter one. And it's honestly, it feels incredible. It's a really nice fit as well for the bed. This bed, I can't express to you how, it doesn't quite show up on camera, but this bed is massive. It's so big. Um, and these fit perfectly. And look at that. I love, love, love. Look at the detail on it. How nice is that? And then you just put the whole thing um, into your washing machine and you just launder it as you would your bed in 
but you're not just laundering your bedding, you're laundering your duvet as well. Does that make sense? I just think it's such a neat idea. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this is utterly genius. Cannot believe this exists. And then we've got the pillowcases there. I'll put them on as well um, now just to show you. Um, and then I'll stick it all into the washing machine. But I will leave the link in the description. Go and check these out. They do so many different styles. Um, so many different colours, different patterns. And it does look just so, so lovely. I'm so, so excited about this. joining me today guys i hope you found this vlog helpful if you did don't forget to click like and also share it i certainly do appreciate it and if you haven't done so yet i am doing 60 second spring cleans on my shorts if you haven't looked at them yet go and check them out they are just short sweet little spring cleans that we can all do together and it might make your life easier and it might motivate you or there might be tips and tricks in there that you haven't thought of before that you might want to utilize i don't know you might you might not but just have a look and see if it's for you and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you are new here then go ahead and subscribe because we would surely love to have you as part of our ever-growing cleaning family and i will be back again next week so until then i love you all lots and keep it clean bye guys